I had posted some videos on YouTube on Saturday with regards to the G20 summit and the activities that were taking place at the time. And let me tell you, I was bored. I pointed out in the videos that there was nothing going on, nothing at all. I was mocking it saying, this is the worst I've ever seen. And there, you know, the rights are being abused, but there was nothing going on. I was just, I was mocking it. It was ridiculous. But what a difference a day makes, huh folks? Seriously, absolutely terrible. Everything just broke loose, hell broke loose. There's no excuse for it. All I can say is this. I'm not mad about the police. I'm not mad about the individuals. I'm not mad about the detainees or the anarchists, if you want to call them that. All I'm mad about is the government. Why? Because they gave authority to go ahead and spend a billion dollars on security because they had true and evident fear that something imminently was going to happen, whether it was domestic or from abroad, they knew something was going to happen. They were fearful of it. And if they knew something was going to happen, they should not have had it in metropolitan Toronto with civilians and businesses and the financial district. It should not have been there. They should have had it at CFB Trenton. I spent $500 million upgrading it and making the military something a little bit stronger, a little bit better, a little bit more proud. They didn't do anything. That would have at least gone somewhere and done something instead of a billion dollars wasted. Now all this confrontation between the public and the government and the resources. Oh my God, it's terrible. So that's what I'm mad about. It shouldn't have been here. Meech Lake Accord, brilliant. Go to Meech Lake. Go to Kempel. Go to Brock. You know, go to these places that you can go to that are secluded away from amounts of trouble. You have in the downtown core of a metropolitan area. And the other issue I have here is too much power went to too many people too fast. You don't unleash brutes amongst the people. You send people out and have them deal with things politically. Have negotiators out there talking to people. When you go out with weapons and shields and everything, it just incites people to get a little bit panicky, a little bit edgy. Um, nervous and they will coil up in fear I might even strike out because they're intimidated you're, you're, you're intimidating them. you're causing fear it's the fear factor and that should never again be the case why couldn't things be handled diplomatically diplomats are working on the North Korean war or the upcoming North Korean war and trying to deter that from taking place why can't we deter the people downtown, the police downtown. Somebody had to be there to calm the police as well. Why were the police not being calmed down? It's not their fault. Too much power went to them and they were, they were given free reign. Go nuts. The rules were broken. The police chief just announced that there was no five meter rule. You couldn't search and seize property, go through bags. It was a farce. He lied. He claims he was just doing it to keep an eye and watch out for the troublemakers. You just broke the law hundreds of times. This place has absolutely heartbroken me.